Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Hashim, and today's video I'm going to show you how to replace engine starter motor for Mercedes B200 Turbo 2006. Please don't forget me like, subscribe, and comment, and tell me something in the comment. Yeah. Here, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to disconnect the cable for the battery, so to cut the power for safety reason. As I tell you always, safety first. Here I am opening the clamp with the screwdriver to make it easy to take off or remove, I mean. After this, all the work will be under the car. Here is the car model. And this is me. Hello. Yeah, there's three bolts to take off the plate. Put safety glasses first because we're working under the car. Don't let the dust go in your eye. I'm taking off uh, this. Uh, these two sides covers because I need to reach the engine mounts later very important advice don't let this stand lifter lift up the car when you lifting up the engine because if this one left up the car the car will be moved from the hoist and can fall down this one will be very dangerous if you don't know how to use it to take off this computer plug for the transmission you need to open this uh, red uh, key should push it in and there's you see this you click this in and pull out like this click and pull out and the plug will go out the exhaust need to take off uh, four bolts uh, the one holding the exhaust and three uh, uh, bolts uh, don't forget to put anti-rust and be careful even if you put anti-rust on the bolts you have to be careful when you lose them because sometimes can get bro broke so you don't need to broke them you know so just uh, try very careful to don't break them if you broke them you need to open new shop to fix them they are not hard to fix but be careful of them uh, i am going to tell you about this uh, how to easy way to take off the uh, drive belt for the engine see how how i am doing just uh, i'm putting a long uh, spanner uh, number 15 and put on the tensioner pull the tensioner down and just hook it like this and see now it's, uh, it holds itself because uh, you can put the pin for it but it's very hard to reach it now easy see and now taken off the spanner and use the same later you see these two bolts here easy to take off but the, the two on the top need uh, like a tool a little bit smaller than this so i'm going to use uh, this one uh, e10 socket uh, but now i am going to use uh, normal socket number eight mil uh, you're going to see what i mean now you see this 8 mil socket, the small one, the smallest one, 8, can fit on this bolt exactly the same. Little bit different, but can, can work, and now easy to take off the bolt, because if big one, uh, it will uh, touch the metal and you can't move it. Now it's easy to move. You can uh, bring the engine down a little bit, if you want to use the the big tool 
I like to say thank you very much for the people who subscribe to my channel and for the people they are not subscribed yet I want to say thanks for watching and if you do like subscribe subscribe to my channel so you get all notification and you will learn and if you want to say thanks Hashem subscribe to my channel and like the video and that means a lot to me okay thank you very much let's complete Let's continue the job. <laughs> There's three bolts here, every, every side, it, each side I'm taking off the bolts, so I can move the plastic a little bit, little bit back, how you see like this, to, to reach the engine mount bolt. And the other side the same engine mount bolt. So I'm taking off these two bolts to bring the engine down and reach the starter motor. Because some people, what they do, they take off the engine outside the car. To, to change the starter motor but this way I do it's very easy and it works very good you see how, how I am moving the engine down I use the big uh, screwdriver to move the engine mount uh, two engine mounts now see the engine going slowly down now I can see the starter motor here. There is a protection uh, cap for the cable, so don't touch the metal. Uh, I, I took off the cap, and now uh, there is this bolt, 8 mil bolt. And there is another bolt, number, uh, number 10 spanner number 10 or socket number 10 so it's the first one socket number 13 and the second one socket number 10 and just two cable and there's two bolts uh what's happened here i am using a uh, talk spanner to lose the top the, uh, the top uh, bolt of the starter motor and then i use normal 10 spanner to make it faster uh, turning the bolt you will see now what I mean so now see this one uh, talk spanner just to make sure I can hold the bolt and lo and lose it and now I show you the other spanner now you see the, the normal spanner number 10 now I using number 10 so I can move the spanner down and up and lose the bolt very easily because with the normal spanner, the top spanner, it's very hard to, to put this spanner on the bolt because there's no room. If, if you have a tool like this, but smaller, you can use for the other bolt. But now for me, it's working like this. I get to use to it. See the starter motor will go out in one two three four five six seven seconds see the the new starter motor on the table on my toolbox so now i'm going to put the new starter motor and put two bolts and tie them and i will see you in the next video good night and good luck now i have to put everything back Please like, subscribe, and comment, and tell me something in comment, okay? See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Have a good day.